Well, some people in our community are wondering whether one of our elected officials is operating above the law. Thanks for joining us. I'm Daniel Money. And I'm Natasha Paloma. This comes after photographs surfaced of the El Paso County Judge's home, where it appears some sort of social gathering took place last Saturday. KTSM 9 News reporter Patricia Maesa brings this up to speed. Tonight, some in the community are wondering if County Judge Ricardo Samaniego is violating his own stay home, stay safe orders. That's after some of his neighbors sent us pictures of some sort of social gathering at his house late Saturday night. Take a look at these pictures. This is County Judge Ricardo Samaniego's home Saturday night in West El Paso. According to neighbors, at least 11 cars were parked on his driveway or around the curve near his home. And neighbors say it appeared some sort of get together was taking place. The timestamp is about 8.30 p.m. and neighbors say the gathering continued well into the night. Now keep in mind, Samaniego issued a stay home order a week ago. And in it, it clearly states that all private gatherings of any number of people who do not live in the home are prohibited. In fact, in a press conference, he admonished the public about violating those specific orders. You know, we close the valve if the community doesn't respond. I know that's not going to be the case, but we did not have all the traction that we needed when people are gathering and going against uh, the order. Now, we did reach out to Samaniego several times today, but he wouldn't talk to us on camera and refused an interview because he said he was too busy focusing on the bigger picture. Meantime, just for comparison, local law enforcement has given out 271 warnings and two citations for people who have violated his stay home order. For some El Pasoans, they're frustrated that he's not following what he's preaching. For elected official to do that is just not right. That's, I mean, he's telling all the public to do, to keep their distance and he's not doing it. That's just not right at all. I think they're being unfair because they're not following the rules that they are making. No, he's not above the law. The county judge says he's currently working with other city leaders to implement new restrictions, but some people that I talk to here in the community wonder if he should even still be involved in the process. In the newsroom, Patricia Maesek, KTSM 9 News. All right, Patricia, thank you very much. And speaking